everyone, welcome to Paper Plate Julie K. Today I'm here with a junk journal that I created. And this journal is a two signature journal. And I did use the Ephemeris Vintage Garden Kit. It's called Summer Prelude. It's really pretty. It's kind of some really pretty pastel and lilac colors and some flowers in it and birds. It's one of my favorite kits that she has out. And I have had this kit, I think, since she first um, put it out. And I printed it right away, and I've slowly been working on it as I come across um, different um, leftover pieces and different purple things in my collection. And so I finally think I have it finished. Um, I still might add some more ephemera to it um, in some of the pockets and stuff, but I thought I would share with you guys what I have done so far. You can kind of see the different layering. I added a woodcut piece that says memories. Um, in the background, the main sheet is one of the journal kit pieces. And then I have a music sheet, um, some burlap, a leftover um, suede paper, which I used on the spine. I have one of the birds cut out and um, framed behind this little metal frame. I did stitch around that and I added a flower right here. Uh, some trim. Um, so over the spine I did use the suede paper, some lace, and then some more of these purple flowers. These were um, some old flowers that came from Recollections brand that I picked up at a rummage sale. And then for my closure I did do an eyelet on the back side and some seam binding. And I did end up um, dyeing this seam binding this particular color to match. And I just used some Glimmer Mist to do that. And then I have a piece of jewelry that I got from Catherine Benjamin a long time ago from here on YouTube as kind of a little thank you gift for something that I had sent her a prize package, I believe. And then what I did is I just layered it up on a couple of buttons so that it's stuck up enough so that I could um, just put my little um, ribbon around it right there. So now going inside of it, again, it's two signatures. I did leave this open, but I still might go ahead and add a, a pocket if I ever come across some more purple scraps um, as I'm making other things. On Throughout the whole book, you can see I added lace, and um, this is some vintage lace I found at the thrift store along with this purple tr lace right here also. It's really pretty and delicate looking. So I added that to a lot of my pages. Um, but as you can see, this is um, one of the journal pages in the kit. It's a really pretty kit. Um, and so here's my first pocket. And I just wanted to show you guys, I have people asking every once in a while if I actually use junk or leftover recycled stuff in my journals. And I do. So for instance, this little pocket right here, I made from this piece. And it's just packaging that I got probably from some sort of sticker sheet. Um, but that was what was left of it. And of course, I will use this in some other journal. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how I do um, incorporate um, junk and leftover pieces into my journals. Um, I did some layering here with some die cuts and a um, Martha Stewart butterfly. I added a little stamen and some bead trim. There's eyelash trim. Here's one of the tags from the kit. I believe there is also a second um, summer prelude kit out. Um, I did ink my edges and also um, stencil them. Here's a little paper clip I made. And this is just a little postcard um, from like a die cut, I think. Um, here's um, a decoupage napkin that I did. Um, just some scrapbooking paper, some more um, stenciling. Um, I received this really pretty purple lace from... Kim, who is um, Serene Bookworks here. Um, here's a little um, envelope that I created. Um, I used to do these when I sent out a lot of um, flip books and you just attach envelopes together. And in each one of them, I just have a little journaling card. They're all very similar. This one I did stamp on the top and it does say timeless on it. Um, but they were just leftover um, pieces from one of my last journals that I created with some ledger paper um but then of course you can also journal on these or add more ephemera later um so i think i made two of these in for this journal and again it's just attaching um envelopes together 
Did some stamping. Um, there's some music paper in here. Um, here's some pretty paper. Um, I got this paper from Sheila, who's Art of Life Sheila here on YouTube a while ago. And so I just kind of made like a little flap and then I just put a die cut, um, cut out die cut from some scrapbooking paper in there. But it's kind of fun to add little um, spots like this. It makes your journal a little more interactive and then also kind of gives you a little hidden spot to journal if you want. Um, here's some different layering. And so I added a jar. Um, I do have some other ephemera, digital ephemera pieces in here. And I believe everything I have in here comes from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. If it's something different, I'll let you guys know. Um, here is one of those Franken tags that everyone makes lately. Um, long time ago, we used to make cards because I'm, I'm originally a card maker. And we used to call them scrap or quilt cards. Um, see, here's some more paper tag that I added. Some more stamping and stenciling. The digital kit in the middle. I did add um, some little birds for the middle of the first signature. Um, this one is meant to be more of a writing journal so there is lots of space to write on. Another little butterfly that I created. Here's a flip up with some layering die cut, and some cheesecloth, a die cut um, that says dream, things to do, and a little tag. Those are all Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Um, I did have a little rubber stamp that kind of matched these birds, so I used that throughout. Um, so I do have a little tuck spot right here, and then um, it's a little small belly band right here, and then I have a couple little tags that I made out of leftover paper and packaging. I layered up a flower there. Some more stamping and stenciling. Just some coffee dyed paper in there for journaling. Another napkin or the other side of that napkin. Um, here I just have some lace that I glued down. And so that's the end of the first signature and the second. And then in the middle, I did end up gluing some flower trim because I made a mistake when I was um, making my holes to add my signatures and I did it too far to the side. And so instead of having to start over again, I just decided to add some trim. So um, I meant to have the two signatures closer, but sometimes that happens and you just deal with it and try and figure out how to fix your mistakes. Um, here's a tag that I got from April again, who's Pink Odd Bird, um, a napkin. I think that was the one I got from her. I'm not sure though. Um, some more scrapbooking paper with the laces on the side. Here's a three pocket. So I have a pocket there. I did a, do a little layering right here. Here's a pocket. And then here's a pocket up here with, I think I put another one of those Franken tags back there. I did do a little bit of sewing on this one. A belly band, and so I have another one of those little trifold envelope things. Again, you just make it by attaching your envelopes together and then covering up parts of it with scrapbooking paper. Another flip up and then a couple more pieces. Um, that's Ephemera's Vintage Garden. This is just a cutout from a scrapbooking paper. So we're stamping and stenciling. Another paper clip with just some coffee dyed paper behind it. Another tag that I put in. Um, here I have a pocket with one of the tags from the kit. And then I have an envelope right here that I made, and then I put some more um, ephemera in it. I just inked the edges on the back side um, just to make more journaling spots. Some 
or stamping with one of those cute birds on it. And then again, birds that I punched out for my center. Um, and so what I did on the digital kits is I printed on one side the regular or part of the kit and then the back side, um, Femmer's Vintage Garden has lined paper and so I did use that on the back side um, for journaling. Some more music paper, another tag. Um, here's a bag that I decorated up and I put, um, this was a journaling card and I just made it into a tag. And then it's also a tuck spot behind there with, um, I think this is bow bunny paper. Um, they used to have a, one out that um, had postcards on it. Um, so it's just a cut out from scrapbooking paper. Some more stamping. Part of the journal kit. Um, here I have a flip up and I did some layering of paper on here with just some scraps. And so when you open it up, I do have journaling up here. And then here um, I have kind of a double tag. I put a round tag and then this music tag. Um, and they're both just pieces from, a, from some scrapbooking paper that I cut out. And so there is a pocket there I, in the word memories. I think that was part of the kit. So music paper, I did add some Rick Rack trim that I've had in my stash for a while. That I think came from my friend Hope. Um, some more layering again. Um, so I made kind of a double pocket here. Um, that sticks in there and then this one sticks right there. So it's kind of a pocket slash tuck spot. Um, another triple pocket um, so that I have something there, here. And I don't think I added anything there. Um, but just did some layering with bits and pieces. Then up here I did a top tuck spot and I just used a Tim Holtz sticker up there um, and just an ephemeris vintage garden postcard. And another napkin and then the here's the back side of April's um, tag that she gifted me. And I just added it because I really liked the feather and it kind of matched with the little bird theme that I had going on. And then that's, here's the last page. And again, it's a top tuck spot. Um, so I have a tag that came from scrapbooking paper. And then in the journal kit, um, there was an envelope in there. And so I just added the a little ephemera piece that came with it for in there. And that just tucks right back up here. And then the back cover. The inside back cover and then the back I just left plain. I will add my um, signature to the back of it and so that is my completed journal. Um, so if you guys have any questions pl um, please let me know and also let me know what you think. I really like this kit and how it turned out. I love the the purple color. So thanks guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.